Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have for you today something a bit different. This is indirectly retro but also fairly retro because it enables retro things to happen. So what I've got in here that came today, which I've been waiting for for a week or so, is, I can just put all my rubbish in the bin, an arcade video conversion board. Now this is a bit different to the ones that you've probably normally seen because they are green with component cables, VGA, CGA and the like. This is a different one because this is a VGA input. If I can get it out of the bag, there we go. So VGA input, CGA input, 8 pin VGA input, EGA, CGA, RGB, and then HDMI output. The only thing it doesn't do is audio. So these go into an arcade machine that you build yourself um, that converts like an old PC or I don't know, an old arcade board from 15 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, whatever, to HDMI compatibility. Now, what I have got also to go with this, I have this device here. This is a Roxio GameCap HD Pro. So this brings HDMI or components into your PC, digitizes it, converts it to AVI and MP4, and you can stream in real time to YouTube, Twitch, things like that. Now, because this is HDMI only, I had to get one of these with HDMI. So what I'm thinking is there's it's all surface mounted, so there's no way of injecting audio into the HDMI. You can do it with pins 15 and 16, I do believe. So I'm not sure what those four are, because there's nothing on the motherboard. And these on this side are for the programming. You can connect like Arduinos up to it and things like that. But anyway, we'll see what it looks like on the screen, because I'm going to plug my Tatung Einstein via VGA into this device. And I know that the, the, the Roxio game cap doesn't record the Einstein on VGA and RGB because it doesn't support 15 kilohertz. Even though my Dell monitor up here does. The Roxio doesn't, it just, it just does normal 60 and 50 hertz in 720p or 1080. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this little baby will allow me to record games on the Einstein for YouTube, video and audio. Now, the first video I'm going to try will be video only because I haven't got an output from the Einstein, which if you saw the previous video, I created an external audio um, socket on the back specifically for recording to the Roxio. But on the Roxio, you can only have HDMI input or component input. So you can't mix the two together. So I can't use the left and right audio on the component channel to record on the HDMI. It has to be through the HDMI cable and the only way to do that is to inject the audio into the into the HDMI stream so we'll have Einstein coming this way or Atari ST or Sinclair Spectrum on here on the RGB and BBC Micro and my TRS-80 and blah 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 so they come on here processed on this chip and outputted through here so the audio will have to be processed separately on a separate cable so that will be something that I'm, I will work out in a future video but for now I just wanted to show you that this was available with up there on that shelf that you saw before the Roxio game capture and then I will try it now connect it all up see what we get and then video the results it might be a fail it might not be but we'll try it now 
A few moments later. Right, that was an effort. So I found a power supply that's five volts, but I'm not sure whether there's enough ampage. It's got one of those connectors on that should plug into there. When the power comes on, so that's a good sign. If I'm on the software, it should give me a HDMI input source and it says no signal. Which is right. So what I want to try and do up here is on my screen I will record what I'm doing and it's recording so I press menu I press down down to three so three is resolution right okay The instruction manual that I found online is obviously lying. Let's try four. Aha, there we go. English. So if you have one of these boards, then option four is the language selection. So then option one is picture. Brightness default return, that's fine. So number two is geometry. Now this will be whether it's... Is it going to do that? I click that. There's one thing I will say is this menu is very slow. Ah, so maybe you can't change the geometry, and maybe in 800 by 600 it is only um, 4 3. Right, so as you can see there, no signal. So, what I will do now is I can move this across to here. This is my Einstein. Yep. Yeah. So. I want to turn it on, hopefully it will record via the VGA and it doesn't. So I think maybe if we do menu, oh dear, so it's still here. Um, There's nothing that allows you to input via VGA. So I wonder whether we have to use the CGA sockets on this device. Huh. There is actually no input. That's very strange that. Now, does it have to be pass through? No. Does it have to be Einstein? Really? So what does pass through do? D. I think I may have got this wrong. Let me just check and rewire. Back in a minute. A few moments later. Whoa. Right, now that was an effort. So actually now I've got the board down here, where are we? Down there. Configured for VJ input at 640 before 80. And as you can see, the Roxio is ready to capture and the pass through to the external monitor is working so I can see what's going on. When I click on this icon here, it should start recording as it's doing now. And I press any key on the keyboard and then I can redefine my keys. 
so I need space for fire, Q for up, P for right, A for down, and O for left. And then start game. Whoa. And that's because I never selected keyboard after I redesigned my keys. Oh yeah, yeah there we go. So as you can hear, the sound is still coming out of the Einstein and not on the actual video. But also as you can see, where's my finger? There, this is real time. This, there's a two second delay because that's how it's capturing to the hard drive. So let's try this again. Not a bad little game, this actually. A bit like Defender. Oh, I'm actually rubbish. But as you can see, it scaled it up to 640 by 480, which is what this little board does. So that's pretty good. So I think let's try a different game. Let's choose. Let's choose what have we got. Where are we? Fathoms deep. Let's try that. Reset the Einstein. <clears> hmm. <throat> so as you can see, this flashing line here shouldn't be on there. So if I turn off completely and start again, We'll see whether or not it's a sync issue. Yes, so it's a synchronization issue on the vertical sync, I believe. Okay, so immediately you turn the, the source off, it turns off the recording, which is great, so it knows to save space. So if I start recording here, this is the recording, that's the pass through. No idea what the keys are for this game. It's probably joystick. And I haven't got a joystick. Oh dear. What a shame. Let's try something different. What about Manic Miner? We've got some Manic Miner on here, I think. Oh, typical. Oh, there we go. So we turn off. Immediately there's no signal. Turn back on again. There's no signal. Stops recording. And the pass through happens again. So we can now say start recording again. Press enter. And we have to do the one, two, three, four. So I think that's quite impressive. So this little board that you saw before now allows me to record Atari ST, Tatung Einstein, there and there, Spectrum, TRS-80, BBC Micro, SNES, you know, so basically anything that I've got I can now record. And also this little device, this little card, this little circuit board will allow you to run any 15 kilohertz input source on a TV or a HDMI monitor. But also if you've got HDMI to VGA, you could run it on a VGA monitor. So the next thing to do now that this is working is get audio 
I can just go here and show you. Where are we? Oh, there, on this. Right. So, audio in here. And then that will hang about. Come on. Stop it now, Manic Miner, you're annoying me. There we go. So, yes, so that's the next project. Audio pass through out of the Einstein into here out to the recording device, onto the MP4, and then onto YouTube. Um, so for the money, it's not bad really, I can't fault it. You know, I was very sceptical that it'd be so cheap it wouldn't work, and a lot of people online have said, oh yeah, don't buy them because they don't work, I've had to send mine back. But this for me, puh, works superbly. So um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. And on that note, I'll leave you to it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get notifications when uh, I upload more videos. Give it a massive thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Thanks again for watching and good night.